good afternoon everyone how are you doing welcome once again to i speak live today we're gonna be talking about persevere what it means to persevere and just to encourage you that irrespective of what you're going through whatever you're experiencing that you need to persevere all right so let's talk about perseverance in the midst of adversity, there is always the feeling to stop fighting and to give up. Not true. But how will you know what is on the other side of the struggle if you do not go through all of the experience? Now, to simply put, persevere means to continue in a course of action even in the midst of difficulty or with little or no indication of success. Hmm. Now, I know what it feels like. To be pushing with no indication of that anything is working but can i tell you that the fighter in me will not allow me to quit in the midst of a struggle so irrespective of how i feel i still have to push and continue pushing until i get on the other side now that is the same tenacity that i am encouraging you to to have because in this time and in this day and age we have to push now why should we push why should we persevere the word of god tells us that weeping endures for a night but joy comes in the morning and we find this in psalm 30 and verse 5 where david encouraged himself and i do believe that he was encouraging us that even though you're crying now that there will come a time when you won't be crying anymore because what you were crying for would have ended and then your joy would have been returned now if it is that you quit in the midst of your struggle how will you get to that point of joy how will you get to that point of daybreak if you do not endure the night how will you get to daybreak where your joy is i want to let you know that your struggles and your situation has a set time the set time is considered the night at the end of the night season there comes the morning which is your time of joy so persevere next the temptation or struggle is common to man meaning everyone is going through something whatever it is that you are going through at this time best believe that somebody else has gone through it now paul tells us in first corinthians 10 and verse 13 that there is no temptation that is common to man but god will with every experience also provide a way of escape so in the midst of what you are going through, he has already provided your way of escape. What usually happens is that we don't look for it because we don't believe that it is there. Yes? So push through, persevere, pause, analyze, look to see what God is saying to you in the midst of that situation that you're going through. And third and finally... The troubles that you are facing is there to build your faith. Each trial comes to make you stronger. James 1 verse 3 to 4 tells us about this. So what is happening is that you are building muscles in the spirit. I love to call it building tenacity. So if you quit now, you will never know your level of endurance. You will never be able to testify about how you overcame. Who will you encourage and tell about your experience if you don't finish it? So believe it, you cannot quit now. So even though it is rough and even though there are tears in your eyes, dry your tears and keep pushing. Pray and praise your way through. Look at the scenery and write about what you are experiencing you know sometimes in writing down your experiences you will also see the solutions that you would have missed otherwise so there is a cause for you to persevere weeping will only last for a night the temptation or the struggle is common 
meaning there is always a point of reference and the trouble that you are facing it is there to build your faith so friends listeners everyone don't give up now don't quit now persevere push through your struggles and get to the other side Alrighty, thank you so much for listening and I do pray that this has encouraged you. If it has, leave a comment, like, subscribe and share with a friend. I Speak Life is here to encourage you. So God bless you and have a wonderful day.